Hey Mathematicians, today our read aloud is titled My Full Moon is Square by Eleanor J. Pins, illustrated by Randall Enos. At Peekaboo Pond, there are many great features like cottonwoods, cattails, and curious creatures. A bullfrog who finished a learn to read course and a firefly swarm with its own power source. Because of the noise on those fun days in June, the frog read out loud by the light of the moon. The flies would sneak down to their favorite limb and hide in the leaves while they listened to him. Although they were fond of that frog's friendly face, the swarm stayed a distance from him, just in case. The routine was changed in the weirdest of ways when the full moon got lost in a thick, cloudy haze. The bullfrog was squinting and starting to fret, so the flies on the branches were getting upset. No moonlight tonight means no blue kangaroo. Ho-hum, twiddle thumbs, now there's nothing to do. Oh, where is my moon? The unhappy frog cried as he closed his book firmly and placed it aside. A brave group of flies with their tail lights aglow agreed they should help the poor bullfrog below. The four thoughtful flies in response to his need neatly hovered above so the bullfrog could read. Their total of four was the smallest of squares. How kind, said the frog to the two daring pairs. Ah, thanks for the gesture, I know you mean well. But your two by two square is too small, I can tell. He kicked up his flippers and wiggled his toes. Perhaps you'd be willing to add a few rows? Their next square in size showed a total of nine. The frog stared a while at that brilliant design. The bottom, the middle, and top each had three. To figure this square, number three was the key. Good job, said the frog as he picked up his book. It might do the trick, he said. Let's have a look. Too small once again, he said, wrinkling his nose. Could you come a bit closer or add to your rows? The fireflies figured they'd rather add more and lined up above him in four rows of four. Their square based on four added up to 16. That's the prettiest pattern this frog's ever seen. You really are bright, he said, tapping his chin, but not bright enough, and I'd like to begin. Another group swooped in a loop-de-loop -loop dive until 25 lights were lined up five by five. He studied the square that was there on display. Going down or across, I count five either way. The brighter the better, and much brighter too. Now I'll tell you the tale of that blue kangaroo. The flies in the spotlight were showing no fear, so the rest of the swarm began gathering near. Their 10 rows of 10, which had 100 lights, could have lit up the pond on the darkest of nights. Too big and too bright, said the frog, I suppose. You should move a bit higher or drop a few rows. They chose to fly higher, which cut down the glare. The happy frog chuckled, my full moon is square. His square moon grew dimmer the longer he read. Well enough for one sitting, the sleepy frog said. Tomorrow at dusk, if we meet here once more, whether cloudy or not, I can read chapter four. Their love of a good book had formed a strong bond. That's why there's a square moon at Peekaboo Pond.